Next step of our joining lab, we're going to use some more rivets. These are a different style of rivets. These are called pop rivets. The standard rivet, uh, soft iron rivet. It's made out of a soft metal. They make them out of aluminum, copper, uh, iron. Uh, works just the same way as our pop rivets did. We poke a hole through two pieces of metal. We push this through the hole and then we're going to take this side and we're going to mash it flat. And when we do is we smash it down like Play-Doh, it mushes out. And it's going to clamp onto the, the piece of metal. So we're going to do this very similar to how we did the pop rivets. We're going to start with the same measurement, but only along the long side. We're going to set these two again, one fourth of an inch. Doesn't matter where you put it. We're going to scratch a line here and, oops, there. When we go this way, last time we did it half an inch, this time it's different. It is not half an inch from the edge. We're going to go one full inch. So I'm going to set my dividers to one full inch. And I'm going to scratch these lines this way. So you can see right there, uh, we're a full inch from the edge where our lines cross. We're going to, just like we did last time, I'm going to set these together so we can check and see if I get them all lined up. This, These two lines should match, and these two lines should match. And looks pretty good. So last time when we punched the holes for the pop rivets, we used a pin punch. And we did it by hand with a hammer. That's a lot of work. We have some other machines that make life a little easier. So we're going to punch these four holes with a machine called a turret punch. It's a, a bench tool. It's bolted to a, a bench that's bolted to the floor. We can punch holes from uh, this size clear up to an inch and a half in diameter, which is a pretty good size hole. So we're going to take you over to that. Uh, we're going to get there in a minute. Before we use that machine, we have to center punch these marks. So again, the center punch is this guy right here. It's got a kind of sharp tip, not super sharp, but we're going to use this to put a little dent right in uh, on the cross where those, those two lines cross. That way, when we take it over to the machine, the machine actually has a flat punch but it has a teeny little spot that's got a point and we can set it in it's kind of hard to see but when we have that dent we can wiggle this around uh, and you'll feel when you get close the the point will drop into the dent and that's how you know it's exactly where you want it to be so we're going to go over to the stake table we're going to center punch these four then we're going to go over to the turret punch and punch those holes All right, so we set a piece of metal on an anvil. We do not need a piece of wood between our, our sheet and the anvil. We're not punching a hole, we're putting a little dent. So if I take the point, and I've got it tipped over so I can see the point, I'm gonna set the point right where the two lines cross. I'm gonna stand it up, and I'm gonna take a hammer, and you really don't need to hit this very hard. We're just putting a little dent. Okay, that is all we're doing. One little dent. We've got to do that four times total. And we're going to do it with this guy over here. Take your time with this. If these are off, the holes will be off. We're ready to head over to the turret punch. So we've got uh, our coupon here. We've got the dents. We're going to slide that in there. And like we showed you in the, how, or the intro to this machine, the turret punch, if I lower the handle a bit, you can see the punch moving up and down in there. 
I'm going to lower it down just a little bit. I'm going to slide that in there and you might be able to hear it when I get it to the right spot. Okay, did you hear it click in? Let's see if I can do it again. Yeah, it's kind of quiet, but it, so I can feel that the point has dropped into that dent. So I know it's in the right place, punch that hole, get this piece of metal to help push it off. I'm gonna do that one more time on this side. Come on, there it goes. Push that off. So if we've done it right, we can double check right now. If I take this piece and set it over top, like that, we should be able to see our, our other dents from the center punch should be centered in both of those holes. So that's looking pretty good. All right, so we're going to do that on this side. to go install those rivets. So with this step, we don't have any Clecos. You're just gonna bring this up to me. We're gonna, you're gonna set it over like this. You're gonna show it to me, and if I think it looks good, I will give you two rivets. Now, if one of these doesn't line up, I'm probably still gonna give you rivets. I'm gonna tell you to install one rivet and re-punch the other hole at the turret punch. Then your other rivet should fit. So mine look like they line up pretty good. So I'm gonna install this first one. And you kinda of gotta wiggle them through. There's one. There's two. All right. So we're going to use this tool. Hopefully you remember its name. I'll give you just a second to think about it. It has to do with rivets and setting them in place. Ooh, so maybe it's called a rivet set. Two holes. Now there is only one of these. There are several of these that have different size uh, holes. They're for different size rivets. So there's only one of these that's the correct size. So we use the small deep hole first and it does nothing to the rivet tap on that, all that did was shove these two pieces of metal together. Now I switch over to the big shallow hole. That does what we call swaging. It's going to mash that rivet down, flatten it, expand it, and lock these two pieces of metal together. So this time we get to set that a little better. Okay, This time we get to just pound the crap out of it. Alright, so you can see if we compare these two rivets, you can see that one is much shorter and fatter than it used to be. So we're going to do the same thing with this. Now, once again, if this hole does not line up, we would take it now, we'd go back over to the turret punch, repunch it, uh, you have an extra little piece of hole, but it should still work. So we're going to put that in there. And not lined up. Oh yeah, there we go. Let me get it twisted just a little bit. Right there. Okay. There's one. And there. All right, so I'm gonna set it again. Small hole, mash the two pieces of metal together, and then swage it. And there's our third joint. Grooved seam, 
pop rivets, and then just a standard soft iron rivet.